Hello everybody and welcome to this month's Russian free-to-play copycat. Yeah, that's right, we're looking at War Mode. So what is War Mode? Well, the easiest way to sum, sum it up is a free-to-play version of Counter-Strike that's worse in almost every way, but not that bad. Now first of all, let's get, look at the options. So we got display resolution, you got, you, got enough, you got enough of a gamut here. It doesn't go above 16 by 900. 1600 by 900. Uh, it go, goes low enough, goes low enough. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, I turned off glare and glow, not because it messes with my performance, but because it annoys me. You can't change texture qualities or anything, which is kind of annoying, but it's not that, it's not that bad. I'm not going to die. And, yeah, it's an FPS game. Uh, so yeah, that's the option. The option menu is pretty good. We got enough. Uh, you can get special guns and stuff. I haven't really, I haven't played the game enough. I've just played enough to get a feel for the gameplay, get a feel for the maps and things. You can get custom badges and masks and stuff. It's not that big a deal. Now we can play the game. As you can tell, this game is definitely made for Russia. At least four Russian servers, two of which are basically empty. Uh, well, not not completely empty. So I just scrolled down and that was why. Yeah, probably that. We got our US server, which is pretty filled up. I'll join this one. There's only like six or se six, seven maps, but they're they're very enough for me to be fine with them. Um, so you've got your armor and grenades. Armor basically just reduces damage you take, but some guns completely ignore armor. I'm just gonna go out with my Spaz 12, which I think is a pretty solid shotgun. Oh, the game's got enough variety in weapons. I, I really like it. I think the gunplay is pretty solid, weapon variety is pretty good, because I feel like each weapon does have its own strengths and weaknesses, like yeah, none of them are like bad, and none of them are like crazy, well some are objectively better than others, here let, let me give let me give you an example, um, when I compare the, f well the FOMOS to the ASVAL, the ASVAL is better, objectively, it does cost more though, but then when I compare like the AWP to the M24 or the M110, I think that the M110 is actually better than the AWP. I don't know, I guess it's kind of a matter of preference. Uh, let's look at some machine guns. Uh, the MP7 is completely better than the MP5. It costs more. I honestly think that the MP7 might be better than the P90, but the P90, I like the P90. It's pretty good for close range encounters and stuff. Again, each weapon has its task. Nothing's too OP, but nothing's that bad. Um, I'm... My skill is actually pretty good, but I'm doing worse now. I'm gonna blame the fact that I'm doing worse on the fact that I'm having to record while doing this and not the fact that I'm like, You know, having to divert your attention to, you know, talking about the game while you're playing it. Each map's got like a two, three lane design, standard, pretty standard. Really. Not crazy. Okay, we took out that guy. Not, not bad. Standard crazy, pretty standard design. But there's just a variety, as I said earlier, that it won't be too annoying. Um, for the review's sake, here's the, the review is basically done at this point. Uh, the game's pretty good. It's a pretty good knockoff of Counter Strike. It's still a knockoff, but it's not as good. The graphics leave something to be desired, as does the sound. Everything leaves something to be desired, but it's free to play, so I can't complain too much about it. So yeah, the review's basically over at this point. I'm gonna show you guys some more gameplay though, just to you so you can get a feel. Yep. Yeah, this team I'm going against is pretty solid. Pretty, pretty dang solid. I have to admit. Before you know, when we go up against the, what level are they? Uh, they've got oh no, they've got they've got a couple of level ones. But the, the great thing about this game is that no one's good enough. Like unlike Counter Strike, where everyone's super experienced, you can just like straight up get like, pretty decent. Let's get me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, was, I promise you. I'll show, I'll show you my stats. I'll show you my KD. I'll show you my KD when this game's over. Game, game's pretty solid. Gunplay solid. How guns react feels okay. Nothing spectacular about it. Nothing, nothing spectacular at all. Yeah, I think, I think this game was lost before I joined. Do do do. Okay, let's clear. Come around. Oh well. Things are still pretty okay. Um. Yeah, this is basically what the game turns down to. I kind of like it. It lets you, you can just turn off your brain, just you know, run around with guns. I think it's just a little appeal. That's why people like Call of Duty so much. You just turn off your brain, run around with a shotgun. 
I mean, you can use your brain to, like, get into it if you want to, but, like, I don't know. kind of like, it's just a little bit of a mess. We lost. Now we get to go just fuck around. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the exit menu. And can I show you my stats? Stats. Ooh, these are all my badges. Uh, yeah, this is this is how you spend this is where you spend your money. You spend it on decals and stuff. Nothing crazy. Nothing you know, it's perfectly fine. That's the business model I like the best. They're sticking with it. Okay, but yeah, you've basically seen war mode. Nothing crazy about it, nothing bad about it. Decent enough through and through. Can I not open up my stats? Sir? Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, decent game through and through. Nothing crazy, nothing good. If you want just a free-to-play game to screw around on for a little while, maybe hang out with your friends, this this will do ya. Don't expect too much. Anyway, as always, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more every day. Goodbye.